Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we demonstrate our understanding and knowledge of quadrilaterals. Here's our question. Which of the following statements about quadrilaterals is true? I would like you to pause and solve and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So we are asking to identify quadrilateral statements that are true. First, to understand quadrilaterals are figures that have four sides and they are closed figures, so four-sided closed figures. Now I've gone through and considered all the different quadrilaterals that we're being asked about in these four answer choices. One of the ones we're gonna talk about today is a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral, it has four sides, and by definition, it has one pair of parallel sides. So we have one pair of parallel sides. These two sides are equidistant from each other. The other pair are not. Here we have a parallelogram, which has two pairs of parallel sides. So the opposite sides are parallel to each other. Then we are gonna talk about a rhombus. A rhombus has two pairs of parallel sides and all of its sides are equal to each other. So a rhombus is also a parallelogram because opposite sides are parallel, but it's unique parallelogram because all four sides are equal or congruent. So a rhombus is also a parallelogram, but more specifically, we would call it a rhombus. Now we're gonna also talk about a square. A square by definition has two pairs of parallel sides and all four sides are equal and it has four right angles. Then a square is a rhombus, which means a square is also a parallelogram because by definition it has two pairs of parallel sides. So a square is the most specific way to call it, but it is also a rhombus and a parallelogram. None of these three figures are trapezoids because they have two pairs of parallel sides and a trapezoid only has one. All right, now let's go consider our answer choices. In part A, every rhombus is also a square. So we have rhombus here. It doesn't go this way, but it can be a parallelogram, but a rhombus is not necessarily a square. So not every rhombus, some romp squares are, all squares are rhombuses, but not all rhombuses are squares. So we're gonna rule out choice A. Part B, or choice B, every trapezoid is also a square. Well, we already t talked about that a trapezoid is all by itself over here because it only has one pair of parallel sides and a square must have two pairs of parallel sides. Therefore, it cannot be answer choice B. Answer choice C, every rhombus is also a parallelogram. Well, this one is true. A rhombus has two pairs of parallel sides, which is what makes it a parallelogram. So all rhombuses are parallelograms that are just special because all four sides are the same. So I think it's choice C, but let's go on and look at choice D to make sure we can rule it out and that we've done it correctly. In D, every trapezoid is also a parallelogram. Well, trapezoid is over here because it only has one pair of parallel sides and a parallelogram must have two. So therefore, a trapezoid is not a parallelogram, and we were correct. The correct answer is C. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back again tomorrow, and please consider subscribing to the channel. Have a great day.